Crying dolphin, mom leads man to dying calves, but the man was shocked when the dolphin... Have you ever been to an aquarium? How about an ocean-themed amusement park? If so, you may have seen dolphins that could do amazing tricks. They might have jumped through hoops. Some dolphins even roll over or swim with trainers on their backs. Have you ever wondered how the trainers train these dolphins? After all, it's not like humans can speak like dolphins, right? Plus, we live on land and dolphins live in the water. We're very different creatures, so how do they do it? If you want to know how humans can communicate with dolphins, you need to watch this video because Sam, the main character of our story, had the same question when he was a little boy. His parents were playing with dolphins and he didn't know how they could do that. His father was always telling that one day he would teach him everything about training dolphins, especially that someday he would be the one to run the center. Sam was a cute little boy who was living in with his family near of the beach and he loved going to swim with his parents in the big sea. His parents were running an entertainment center that wasn't far away from their house, and in that center, they were helping show dolphins. His parents were so good at their job that they were doing very crazy things that made their center one of the most famous centers in the whole country. For that, the family was doing well on the financial level, and they never had a problem with supporting their son or getting him whatever he needed. From this end, it was enough for Sam living beside the beach. He loved the sea trips that his parents took him on on the weekends. They were diving together as a family and saw all the beautiful staff of the sea. Sam was in love with diving, and he also loved to walk on the beach. Nothing was like smiling at the nice and refreshing air of the sea. Running on the sand was also one of his favorite hobbies. In other words, we can just say that Sam loved everything related to the sea. That's what Sam told his teacher when he asked him why he loved his home. The teacher asked him, Did you know that long ago physicians recommended going to the beach for medical reasons? Then he continued explaining to Sam and his friends that when consumption or tuberculosis was claiming lives by the thousands back in the 1900s, some doctors had a rather unconventional approach to treat it. So patients were sent to the seaside by the droves to breathe the salty sea air. It was believed to have curative powers, which could heal the respiratory organs and reduce the intensity of the disease. But the health benefits of the sea were known to man even before that. Thalassotherapy, or sea therapy, was prescribed by Hippocrates, the father of modern medicine himself. That was another reason for Sam to love his home. It was good for his health to keep living there. In fact, he didn't need any more reason. It was enough for him all that fun he was having. Sam was inviting his friends at the school sometimes to the show that his parents were holding in Tear Center, and his friends were asking him if he also can communicate with dolphins as his parents were doing. That made Sam ask his parents again to train him. He wanted to be just like them. However, they were thinking that he wasn't ready yet. Because unlike what the people think, working with dolphins isn't easy and can be very dangerous. But after a lot of talk and discussions, his parents finally agreed to teach him. His father told him that professional marine trainers can teach dolphins many behaviors. They do this through a system called positive reinforcement, through operant conditioning. They start by breaking down the trick into many steps. They then teach the animal one step at a time. When the animal does a step right, the trainer rewards them. This teaches the animal to keep up that behavior. For example, many dolphins are taught to jump through a hoop. Trainers break down the trick into simpler steps. Then they teach each step by having the dolphin follow an object called a target. The target can be any object, like a float on the end of a pole. By following the target, the dolphin learns the desired behavior. For example, the dolphin may first be rewarded for swimming through a hoop. Then the hoop and target are raised to the top of the water. Once the new goal is achieved, the dolphin is only rewarded for that task. Another tool trainers use is the hand signal. Trainers have a unique hand signal for each trick they want the dolphin to perform. When the hand signal is given, the dolphin knows what the trainer wants it to do. Trainers also use whistles. A whistle tells the dolphin that it performed the desired behavior correctly. Performing the behavior correctly also earns the dolphin a reward. The reward can be food, a toy, or special attention from the trainer. 
Rewarding an animal for a desired behavior is known as positive reinforcement. The reward reinforces the behavior desired. This makes the dolphin want to perform the behavior correctly every time. Here, Sam stopped his father and asked him a question. How about when a dolphin performs the trick incorrectly, Sam asked. When that happens, the trainer gives no response. Instead, they give the dolphin time to think about what went wrong. Animals are not punished for incorrect behavior. Instead, they just don't get positive reinforcement. In this way, positive reinforcement becomes an even more powerful tool. After that, Sam was ready to go in the dolphin's pool for the first time. Sam is used to watching from a distance, and he was scared to be that close to the dolphin, but his parents helped him to beat his fear. Time after time in the pool, Sam was getting better and better in his job, especially that he loved what he was doing. Soon enough, Sam became a good friend of all the dolphins in the pool, and he was learning very fast. Sam managed to be even better than his parents at his job, and very soon he became the star of the show. His parents were very proud of him because what they have been learning for years, Sam did in a few months. It was clear to his parents that Sam has a special talent when it comes to communicating with dolphins. He was understanding their needs in a very strange way, like he was speaking their own language. This talent helped Sam a lot in his job, and his show became one of the most famous shows of that kind in the whole country. After finishing high school, Sam could focus on his job more, and with the help of his friends, he could get more customers for the center. After a big advertisement campaign on social media, Sam became very famous because of his talent. But what made him viral and a trend in the whole country wasn't one of his shows, but it was a very strange story. One day on the weekend, Sam went diving and swimming with his friends. Unlike them, Sam was a professional, and he went so deep in the sea. Underwater, Sam saw a dolphin. It was a female dolphin, and Sam wanted to be careful with her, because it could be a mother, and in that case, she would be very dangerous. But after a few moments, Sam realized that the dolphin wanted to show him something. He was swimming after her to see what was wrong. When he arrived where she was leading him, he found out that she wanted him to save her calves. They were stuck in an old fishing net. It was clear that the three calves were there for at least a couple because they looked very tired and they almost died. Sam didn't think twice. He helped the calves right away and freed them from the fishing nets. But they were in very bad situation and Sam didn't know if they would make it or not. Sam took the baby dolphins with him to the boat where his friends were. They told him that he needed to take these dolphins back to the center so his father might be able to save their lives. The boat was going very fast in order to save those babies' lives, but the mother was following them. She was swimming very fast to catch them. In the center, his father took care of the calves, and the mother was held with the other dolphins that his father had. Sam was very worried about the calves, but at the same time, he was thinking about how clever this mother was. She could save her children by communicating with humans. However, she wasn't trained to do so. I was really worried what the mother could do to save her children. After a couple of days of treatment and very good care, the calves finally were getting better, and that made Sam very happy. What Sam didn't know was that one of his friends was recording everything on his phone, since he saved the dolphins in the area until he got back to play with them and their mother in the center after they got very well. His friend posted the story with the videos of it on social media as part of the advertisement for the center. Once the story got posted, it went viral and everyone was talking about this talented and kind young man who saved those poor dolphins in their last moments of life. At the next show, a lot of people came to watch. There were so many that Sam had to turn some of them off at the center and ask them to come in the next week. Sam didn't know that those people didn't want to watch his show, but they wanted to see the three calves that he saved from the sea. They were shouting, reclaiming that they wanted them. Sam got the babies out and showed them with their mother to the people, but he told them that they weren't trained yet, and that's why they couldn't participate in the show. Later, after a few months of that incident, the three dolphins became a very important part of the show, after Sam trained them. They are still living with Sam until today, and they are still his best friends. Well, friends, this is the end of this incredible story. We hope, as always, it's been to your liking. If you liked it, give us a like. Leave us your valuable comment. 
share on your social networks, subscribe to our channel, and activate the notification bell so that you're always notified when we have a new video. And in this way, you do not miss any of our stories. For now, we only have to invite you to join us in the next one.